Hello guys, welcome back to Custom Gamer. My name is Daz and once again we'll be looking at a Half-Life 2 Episode 2 mod today. It's called Critical Cargo by Jet Black. And it's kind of... Hmm, how to describe it? It's like a cinematic mod I suppose you could call it. Um, if any of you have ever played the Call of Duty series you'll, you'll kind of get what this is all about. Lots of crazy cinematic over the top action in the cutscenes. And uh, this is kind of split into kind of cutscenes and then very, very rudimentary, frustrating gameplay in between. So it's it's actually exactly like Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, low blow, but uh, we'll continue. Uh, so yeah, the, the cutscenes in particular are really well done. Some fantastic scripting going on here in the cutscenes. Shows a lot of talent from the author. Um, I just really didn't like the gameplay in between the cutscenes um, for reasons we'll go into as we play. But... Uh, yeah, fantastic cutscenes, gameplay is dodgy as hell, but uh, worth checking out anyway. So let's go, shall we? Alright, so we've just relieved ourselves. From the look of the floor, he did a terrible job with the uh, whole aiming thing, but uh, let's continue. So, um, the common trend uh, with the level design is that all the areas are fairly basic in the, their looks. Like, for instance, this bathroom is very basic. Uh, there really isn't a lot of detail in the mod. Which is a shame, considering uh, the cutscenes are so cinematic and really well done. It's just a shame the visuals aren't up to scratch. But uh, they're just they're just good enough. <laughs> so it looks like we probably don't want to go that way. <laughs> Obviously something fairly terrible is happening. Let's see if we can find out what that is. Don't shoot me. So hopefully you won't get sued to high hell for using this music. Hopefully I won't either. <laughs> but yeah, um, the use of slow motion I thought was actually really nice. Um, I actually really like slow motion. Although it tends to get overused quite a lot, but it's actually quite tastefully done in this mod. I love the way the Metro Cop just sounds like he's scared shitless. <laughs> so yeah, this, this uh, I actually have control now. I can look around and do things. And uh, I was the first time I played through this mod. I actually, um, was quite confused with this. I was kind of stuck here for a while, wondering, okay, what am I meant to do now? <laughs> After about kind of five minutes of sitting here in this, in the back of this truck. But uh, there's actually a couple of hints, I just don't think they're strong enough. 
for instance, uh, in the conversation they have at the start there, he says make sure he doesn't touch anything. And then you've got the sign here which says do not tamper with lock during transit. Now, then when you look at the door you see the, uh, the pin there holding it in place. That's kind of all the hints you get. It took me a I was just kind of spamming the use key around here, trying to work out what to do. You know, it was actually quite frustrating. I think it needs to be just hinted at slightly more what you had to do. But yes, I will continue. Yeah, so as, as you can see here, that I really like the use of sound to explain what's happening after you black out, rather than you just waking up. Although perhaps this uh, heartbeat scene goes on a little bit too long. kind of wake up in the rubble here after your crash. So again the presentation is really nice. Um, unfortunately from here on onwards the uh, the actual gameplay which you get to you know take control of your character for is uh, extremely frustrating and not particularly good. So let's see what we can see. So you'll notice there's a couple of guys here just kind of sitting around, you can't use them, they don't do anything, they're just kind of standing there. Which I thought was a bit odd. And there's like all this death and destruction everywhere and these guys are just kind of sitting around waiting for something, god knows what to happen. Alright, let's go. Hey you, you found the target yet? Calm system's down. Negative. He's probably dead anyway. <laughs> oh, oh wait, that's not funny. Okay, this is weird. Um, I'm pretty sure that audio is meant to stop once you kill him. <laughs> so, uh, a bit of a glitch there. The... Ooh. So, some of the things I like about this area is, um, again, it's like presentation stuff, like... Uh, all this like particles hanging in the air and the heat haze coming from the fires and things like that. But the actual level itself is actually really basic. There's not much detail going on here. It's just a bunch of props plopped in your way. And uh, one of my main gripes with the gameplay is that, as you'll notice, I have no health readout or anything like that. And you actually have to fight through the entire map with the uh, absolutely no idea of what your health is. So you, c you could be running into an area with like, you know, four health and die in one hit and you'd just have absolutely no idea, which uh, happened to me quite a bit on my first playthrough. It's just extremely frustrating. But let's continue. Oh, 
Another thing I really like is the use of the uh, dynamic lighting. You'll see it kind of bugs out a bit on the wall here, but uh, the shadows that the the enemies cast, and it was used in the uh, back of the van, if you remember as well, when he opened the slit in the wall, he had that light come in. So really nice use of that. And again here, it just creates these really great shadows along the floor and wall. But again, I don't even have a crosshair, so it's just really hard to even aim. I was drinking that! <laughs> oh. It's come my way! Oh, oh sweet Jesus! Yeah, I'm not too sure about the voices some of these combine have, it's a bit uh a bit crazy. That's probably my favourite use of the slow motion there, because you get the tyre flying straight towards your camera as it happens. It's really nice. Yes. Now this is the place where I died about five times in a row, because I just couldn't see my health. And these shotgun guys would just decimate me. Luckily I know where they all are now, so... It's not quite as difficult, but oh my god was it frustrating. I'm not quite sure what this uh, this effect is here with the... Uh, it's almost like a lens flare but I don't recognise the sprite used for it unless it's a custom one he's made. Yeah, it, it's kind of cool. I quite like the look of it. It's just uh, like bugs out a little bit. But yeah, I like it. <laughs> oh. See, I've just taken a bunch of damage from that but I have absolutely no idea how much. I mean. Am I about to die? I, I have no idea. And the, the movement speed is just completely wrong as well. Like I, I feel like I'm floating along the floor rather than walking. I think it's something he's changed in the map or something. I don't even know. It just feels really horrible. And that was Critical Cargo. So uh, I know it doesn't look like it from this video, but uh, that section I just played through, I must have died five or six times. Just from not knowing how much health I had, and uh, not knowing where enemies were coming from. And uh, without the crosshair as well, it makes it incredibly hard to aim. I just don't understand the decision to withhold that information from the player. I mean, it's like basic information you need to know in order to play properly. So yeah, I have no idea why it was hidden from the player there. <coughs> but yeah, um, like the cutscenes, the use of slow mo, I really liked. But um, o overall, I just really did not enjoy this mod. Uh, I think it's mainly because my personal gaming preferences really. Like, I I really dislike the kind of uh, you know cutscene that takes away control of the player and. Uh, this is exactly how you'll play this mod and, sorry, this game and, you know, if you have to think then, uh, we've made the game wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think gaming uh, as an interactive medium needs to move away from this kind of on-rails scripted nonsense which which we've been force-fed for, 
Well, ever since Call of Duty became popular, basically. <laughs> Luckily, with the popula popularity of games like uh, Minecraft and Skyrim and Deus Ex sequel and things like that, uh, it seems that we're now getting more variety in our FPS, which is good. But yeah, uh, well, let me know what you thought in the comments, guys. Uh, it's something a little bit different from the standard Half-Life 2 mod. It's great to see variety, don't get me wrong. I just uh, wasn't a fan of this particular map. Although I can certainly appreciate the the work that went into the cutscenes here, because they were quite nice to look at. So, I will see you next time, guys.